Hey everybody, and welcome back to the Devil's Playground. In $666 and 100% buzz and cook served delicious, we are in for a treat here today. We've got ourselves quite the menu options. Uh, the nachos are on here by way of Megan, who wants to date and loves nothing more than a big old plate of nasty nachos, so... Suppose we're gonna sate her disgusting needs. We could also upgrade this to six dollar mini price, but honestly, I just don't give a damn. <laughs> just I don't care enough about the nachos, man. So we're just gonna leave that be and go with our hundred percent buzz today. Oh, ninety-five percent, I guess. See how well we can do with the uh, with the insanity of ninety-five to one hundred percent buzz. We have the lobster, of course, on the menu now, hoping to be able to upgrade that. Pretty soon. I think we got up to a five-star wine as well. Yeah, we have the Deckard Vineyards option now, so that is certainly going to provide us with some much-needed financial gain. Those sauces on the lobster tomato soup here as well. I'm really excited, actually. We've got ourselves a uh, pretty solid-looking restaurant here. We've got ourselves all these really good menu options. We've got three stars. We've got a lot of buzz going on as long as we can continue to perform relatively well. Things are looking pretty damn good for the future here. I gotta make sure I'm, uh, staying on, staying on my game here, though, as we can certainly see things can get out of hand really fast if I don't stay on the ball. The soup du jour is one I haven't actually seen in quite some time. It's been a... the world's, uh, best-kept secret, the soup du jour at the... the Bears Beers three-star hotel restaurant. Hotel, restaurant, cafe, and resort. That's really what I want to go for. That's my new goal. Is get that four-star cafe, resort, hotel, tower, restaurant, bathroom, three-season, one-juice steak. All those combined would give us just an unbeatable establishment. You wouldn't ever want to go anywhere else. We would go to the bathroom for you. We flush the toilet after you're done. Give you some potatoes and cabbage and celery and Baristobo soup. Where would you want to go besides that? It's a magical wonderland here. Okay, so all those onions and ground meat, yum, yum, yum. Two cups of butter, you big fat, fatty fats. We haven't even examined the people here yet, man. This is this is a whole new offering, and I haven't even paid attention to it. I've been too busy selling a whole bunch of orders and making a whole bunch of money. Seems like a higher priority. Oh my god, he's wearing a tie! And this dude has a whale on his shirt! I like these people. I should probably recognize this shirt, I just can't see it well enough. Seems like something that I may know about. And I know about things, let me tell you! I don't really. Smoke three, spicy, and two juicy. That is a complex steak order right there, man. Case of sour cream, olives, uh, olives is O, oh, and then jalapenos, tomatoes, onions, and ground meat. Yum, yum, yum. Alright, things are getting kinda crazy at the moment. Let's see if I can catch up a little bit here. Bam, 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 Baristobo soup. I'm gonna send this. Oh, God, that was terrible. I did not mean to hit that button. See, it's the. When you get seven up there, man, as soon as you. As soon as you make seven up yours, there's no going back. Unless, of course, you try to turn it into DNL, and then everyone's just thoroughly confused. What the hell was DNL, man? That was a weird ass marketing campaign. You can't just flip over your soda and expect to sell it as a brand new thing. That's like trying to sell Cinnamon Toast Crunch by saying, It's even crunchier! Now with more cinnamon! Now with less toast! Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It's the toast you can't see. That sounds terrible if they put toast in Cinnamon Toast Crunch, man. Why do they even... Why do they even put the toast in there? That should just be Cinnamon Crunch. Although that does sound like the... cheap store brand knockoff of the very same. Uh, oh, that's the Royal Nachos there. That's basically everything, so... Just hit every button, that'll usually work. Chill love, sir. Season smoky, juicy, too citrus, yum, yum, yummy. And number six. Already making a killing here today, man. This is looking really solid, although the nachos are the only thing that's really not giving us any real big benefit. Lobster's really not too expensive right now either. It does get pretty pricey, and it doesn't really get that much more complex to make either, so it's a pretty good menu option. Ground meat on the nachos, the classic nachos there as well. Flush our space age toilet and do some dishes. Cinnamon Toast Crunch is delicious, though, man, I'll be honest. It is quite tasty. I do enjoy myself. And a big old bowl of Cinnamon Toast Crunch in the morning. In the morning? Oh, God. All kinds of sound effects going on in the background. I'm sorry, I got some... some weird things happening on my desk. Even weirder than usual. Okay, here we go. Bam, bam, bam. 
Season juicy twice, spicy twice, bacon and good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Pizza, sour cream, guacamole, all this, all the famous things. When I start babbling like a madman, you know I'm making a delicious, delicious meal. That's the telltale sign. The telltale heart is in your soup. Don't question it, it's delicious. Serpent beard here as well. Oh goodness, oh goodness, more things are happening. I apologize. I've got phone calls and wine to serve. Oh, we haven't even served this wine yet. What am I thinking? I'm just <laughs> holding an open bottle in front of their faces. You want it? You want it? You want the wine? You better get it! We got a decent combo going here, too. I am really, uh, quite happy with the way things are going this, this day. You're gonna make a solid amount of money at the end of this. Looking for some good upgrades here. I'm thinking maybe I'll go for the, uh, go for the lobster before much else. Seems like a, a decent plan. Serve that out, get some ground meat going. Haven't gotten a single Deckard Vineyards wine order yet. That's certainly gonna give us a financial boost if that eventually happens today. I don't know if the three star people really order it too much, but there it is. As if on demand. Right here and now. Case of all those onions and ground meat. I'm gonna put her on hold for a little bit here. Gotta get some of these uh, other orders getting cooked up. There we go. Alright, we can probably do it now. So good, awesome. That makes us both. Okay, that works. Uh, yeah, hurt someone. Oh god, I think I missed- oh god, I missed a chore. I missed a chore to her stupid conversation. That's terrible. That's actually really bad. Oh man. I'm not sure that's gonna be- That's gonna be permissible. Holy crap. What do we do about a missed chore? I think that's gonna lead to the safety inspector having a few words with us. Oh, I've never failed the safety inspection before. I'd be curious to see what the result of that is. There we go. Oh god, get everything out right away. Uh huh, another one. Oh my goodness. Oh damn it. Alright, well, whatever. I don't care. Don't wanna have nachos on here anyway, man. It's just a waste of time. Waste of precious Bears Beers resources. Luckily, no negative buzz today. Didn't manage to get those chores complete, but oh well. We just have rats running around the establishment. No big deal. Oh, you are getting stronger. We cannot wait to see just how far you've come. Ooh, that is tempting. A little bit of menu rot occurring doubly so, and we got a weather alert today as well, very nice. Meh! This email is meh. Suck it! Another wine upgrade, wait, another wine upgrade, really? There's another wine upgrade? Hold on a second, what is this? No, it certainly couldn't be that this early on. I don't think that's true. I think that was an old email. Here's our first lobster upgrade. Gets us to, up to a $15 mini price in the cocktail sauce recipe. Definitely gonna go for that. Let's see what we need to swap off the menu here. Probably quite a few things. Just the steak. No. Definitely wanna take off nachos too. Huh. What's our special gonna be today? I think I'm gonna throw the fish on there and I'm actually gonna throw the salad back on as well. Somebody mentioned the fact that maybe I should consider upgrading the salad uh, due to the fact that I use it quite frequently. And it is a staple food so that is pretty solid to have. I don't disagree. We might go that route. Later on. Look at our bet today, actually. Coffee, biscuits, and lobster. Those are actually breakfast sandwiches, I believe. Can't afford that, unfortunately, so I'm not going to be able to get that one. <sighs> I'm satisfied, though. I'm happy with this. We can actually try another steam challenge here. This one isn't really good to go, but the bubbly kitchen could happen. Wonder how much that would negatively affect our buzz if we were to, to uh, take off a couple of things and replace it with this. All we'd have to do is remove these. I think it's, uh, we need to take off of that and then we need to put the pasta on the menu, right? That would be all, it would, all, all that would uh, encompass this challenge. Yeah, we could do that. That's $500, Bubbly Kitchen, let's go for it. Seems like a fun one, then maybe we'll end up on the leaderboard somewhere. So let's see if we can get ourselves a perfect day with an 80% buzz. That'll probably give us a good placement on the leaderboard if I can manage to make this happen. I could certainly see myself placing maybe in the top 100 of the Bubbly Kitchen Steam competition. Let's try it out. Got high expectations for myself today, man. I'm really hoping for the good stuff. Lots of lobster today as well. That's actually a really solid option for the, uh, for the daily special today, especially considering I just spent some money upgrading that, so maybe we'll get the $2,000 back today. Let's see if that's the case. That would certainly make it worth our, worth our while, huh? 
Not as many orders as I was really expecting out the start here, because this is an 80% buzz. I was hoping for a little bit more, but I'm sure we'll be okay. Get up into maybe like the 70 range of combos, and I think we'll probably be uh, competing for a top spot. By top spot, of course, I mean... That's right. Okay, good. <laughs> I was panicking for a moment there. I was like, it's all over, man. No, by top spot, of course, I mean top, like, a thousand. Top 10,000. If I can get that, if I can get into the top 10,000 of Cook, Serve, Delicious players, I'll call that a victory. But making a crap load of money is probably advantageous here as well. In fact, maybe even more so than most other things I could hope for. Alright, serve that out. Good cocktail cups. Gotta do some chores here real fast, no big deal. Take care of these before anything else, just to clear up some space on the, uh, on the good old menu. I honestly should be doing the things that cook before I do the things that I just need to serve by themselves, so... Need to, uh, create the proper priorities here. There we go, get all that taken care of. I think we'll clear up another menu slot. See, this works out perfectly, because now I've got the, uh... I've got the things cooking, and then I can just serve that stuff out while I... While I wait for these things to cook up. So, here we go. Red sauce, red peppers, mushrooms, onions, and spinach. There we are. Uh, number five is cheese sauce, MKB. I love that one. And then two cocktail cups for the lobster. Very nice. Lots of lobster orders here today as well, which I am totally okay with. We're going to do these dishes real fast while these cook up. And then throw up the soup, followed by the wine. As we can cook these things while we go. Probably go for the lobster and the soup orders before we get off to the next one as well. Three, four, shut the door. Cocktail cups, two cups of butter, and cheese sauce on the pasta. Sear the soup out, get the pastas boiling again. And then number five, the wine le cheap. Yuck. Disgusting. You know better. You're in a three-star restaurant, you savage. Oh, well. Not everyone can order the Deckard Vineyards, I suppose, even though I really wish they would. Uh, see, I keep making the mistake here, trying to serve these wines before the lobsters are done cooking. Before I cook the lobster, rather. No sauce is on the light. Trash is piling up. We still have made a decent amount of cash today. That makes me feel good. Happy about that. Cloak up this lobster again. Boiling soup du jour one more time. Very good. Okay, serve this lobster with two cocktail cups. Another elk wine. I'm totally cool with the elk wine orders. Those are still pretty solid. I believe 40 bucks, right? Yep, $40 for that. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Serve the soup out. Get number six on the way. One cup of butter for you. Flush our space age toilet. Boil some pasta and some lobster. Yum, yum, yummy. Looking pretty good. Up to 40. Still on a perfect co or uh, perfect course for today. I am competing, man. I'm competing, and that's all that I hope for. Let's see here. Red sauce, meatballs, bacon, mushrooms, and spinach. I just want to make sure I don't screw this one up. Two cups of butter on here. Uh, number five. Please don't burn this. Chicken and spinach is S. Very good. A cup of butter on that one. All right. That was a little intense, but I managed to get out of there unscathed. Get it? Sometimes people burn themselves in kitchens. Oh, man. Oh, man. So good. So very, very good. Clean up them dishes, man. This is a this is a dirty dish kind of day right here, and I understand that, too. We are dirtying up plenty of dishes with all these stupid, bubbly entrees. It's absurd how many dishes we need to clean here. Cheese sauce, meatballs, chicken bacon. Oh, there we are. All right. Good, good, good. Red sauce, peppers, USO. I like that. Butter and cocktail, the mix up. Very good. And we got some more things to cook up here as well. I'm going to try to get these ones that are already done before I handle the garbage here. Uh, okay, good. Oh, I put the spices on there. Damn it all the hell. There goes the perfect day. That sucks. Uh, no way I can get out of that one either, unfortunately. But I'm, I guess. I guess what matters now is making as much money as we possibly can. This was kind of a difficult challenge, actually. I, uh. I certainly didn't expect to be able to get through it very quickly or very, uh, flawlessly, but I'm glad we, I'm glad we took the opportunity when it was presented to us to be able to challenge myself against my peers and see how well I could compete. I might actually do this one again, too. I might try a lot of the daily, or the, uh, not the daily challenges, but the, uh, but the Steam Challenge leaderboard things. Might give those another go, see if maybe I can end up on the tippy-top spots. I think I can, I think I can give myself a, a solid chance at maybe being up there near the top. 
they just get one of those perfect days, man. That's what that's what you really need to be able to even come close to competing, unfortunately. It's just people are so good, man. Talented folks on the top. As it should be. Went right by it, Jesus. Still, though, making quite a bit of cash. Can't be too upset about that unless I were to behave as unto a child. Oh, that's not right. Oh, man, I nearly... Nearly put some carrots in his hearty meat soup. He would be very displeased by that. Yikes! Or she. Not actually sure. Looks like it might have been a female connoisseur of fine meaty soups. I oh, know, it was the... It was the bald guy. Always the bald guy. Blame NL, right? Give me that hashtag up in here. Oh, boy. Well, that was... That certainly could have been a little bit better. I, I wonder where I would have ended up if I had managed to get a perfect day here. I'm curious to see where that would have placed me on the uh, leaderboard. We'll have a look. We'll have a look and see. So an 81 streak. An 81 streak might have been a little better. We got 40... Uh, no, we got 56, didn't we? Yeah, 56. 81 would have put me uh, where? Can I even go up? Maybe I can filter this. All rankings. Holy cow, 159. That is nuts. 81 would have put me at 57th place. Wow. That would have been awesome. This is pretty crazy, though. 159. That's got to be on New Game Plus, right? My goodness. TV tonight! Tonight in this live showing, a winner is announced! And the president stops by to taste the entries. Also, is the president is allergic to one of the secret ingredients and can he figure it out in time? <laughs> I would pay to see that. The people are talking, and it's all great positive feedback. Y'all are really running a great restaurant over there. We got, oh my god, my buzz is plummeting right now for some reason. That's crazy. Okay, 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 okay. How about this? You must complete all your chores today without missing a single one to get a 30 combo. No problem. Easily done. Nachos again for Megan. All right. I guess we can try that. Many rot is occurring. We're going to take these things off. Lobster is gone. Okay, so we gotta have the fish in the daily special today. That sounds pretty good. We gotta throw nachos on there again, unfortunately. I'm gonna take the pasta off, replace that with chicken and steak, and I think that's gonna give us a nice buzz today. Pretty good. Pretty good, not terrible. How about the bet? What do we got? Chicken and potatoes. I could actually do that. I could give that a shot. $600 is pretty good. Let's do it. We'll take the wine off, replace that with potatoes today. Should be pretty interesting. All right. I'm satisfied. Fortunately, we got to have a slightly shorter episode here today, guys. Time restrictions do not allow us to go further, but appreciate your support. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Cook Serve Delicious. I'll see you next time.